It's not just like, oh crap, there's a Weaver chasing me and I'm a boot CM. You know, if you're dead, that's what's going to happen every time. They're going to put another ward on Roshan, so it's going to be a fight over Roshan to possibly decide the game. If somebody wins this battle handily, it could be Arax or uh, just simply the end of the game. Um, there's still a lot of towers up, actually, for Mythrust. Three uh, tier two towers, and there is the back door coming in. Nature's Prophet comes in, pops his Treants with the Necro three, and they're gonna go for it. No TPs yet, but they do have the Glyph. No Glyph yet. Ooh, that's gonna, gonna be it. close, cause this Treant's gonna do a lot of damage. Focus on that Necro Warrior, cause that thing hurts. Oh, this Rax at 100 health. And my goodness, that was close. This range, oh my, it's a, the next back door is done. Oh, he needs like two hits. Wow, that was close. Two My or three goodness. hits for the ranged uh, creep. Probably could meantime, just suicide right now for it. Yeah, they, he could. Um, in the meantime, they went on the Roshan, but uh, quickly the Radiant team is showing up. Sentries, do they have a gem or something? Yeah, there is a gem on Chen. They're initiating going on the Crystal Maiden. Just pops his Mask of Madness, not his BKB. Really nice backdoor. control by Fizz is Void. And indeed, he is backdoor and he's going for the Mega Creeps. There is a Glyph. They haven't quite popped yet. The team fight is happening. Big Chronosphere, but Chen gonna die possibly. Sand King doesn't ulti, doesn't get the stun, there's the Mega Creeps. Are they going to be able to win? Probably not, but Min Miniski doing a really nice job finishing out the game in a advantageous teamfight position. Doing a really good job here. Um, we thought this game was going to end like at least six or eight minutes ago. Yep, uh, I mean this is why Miniski so good. Even with such disadvantage position, they've been hold on for a long time. Jules just getting some revenge kills right now, it's like, fill this hammer, the wrath. <laughs> but uh, not gonna get the bashes, not gonna get the kill. And now Prophet T2 backs in with that uh, hex stick, gonna get one extra kill. And uh, now Mineski out of time, out of buildings in their base, and their uh, fountain get, or digger throne is getting on. <laughs> A little bit of weird stuff on Facebook. He pops his mask of madness and TP's home. It doesn't actually increase your TP speed if anybody's noticing. <laughs> um, but he's gonna go back. He can actually hold this. That's the best part. Um, he's got the life steal and he has a mask of madness and he has a battle fury. He can actually like hold this. Um, but once they actually come through, that's when the game ends. The five heroes come, they team fight, and there's like 20 creeps that do like 100 damage who are slapping you. All right. And they don't have uh, some. Well, this is you know, if you think about it, right? Chen can start building an ultimate army right now. Yeah. Like you get three range creeps that they all hit like a hero. Oh God, I mean, this is comeback time right here. Yeah, those yeah? range yeah? creeps do a lot of damage, man. And he can get them up to like 1,200 HP. That is crazy. There you that's go. That's so much. All right. That's that's better than a crystal maiden. Yeah, true. As soon as all these uh, moon wells die and the last tower drops, that's pretty much it. I'm surprised they still haven't GG'd. They haven't even typed it. They're like, oh yeah, we got this. And he's going to jack a Necro Namicon Archer. It's going to give him a little bit of uh, buffs, but the throne is taking a lot of damage. And Void's damage is not quite high enough. He's not cleaving these creeps. It's taking him like six hits apiece, and the A ulti comes through. It's going to pick off the Chen. Um, actually, Chen's going to go down to neutral creeps and a couple globals, and Weaver will auto-attack the throne, and that is going to be it. Good game called by Chen. And any second here. Nope, the creeps, the creeps are preoccupied. And there we go. Okay. Game is over. GG, Miss Trust. That was a fun game though, very even for a long time, um, they were at a disadvantage for a, for a long time, and unfortunately they just couldn't get their team fights down in the mid-game, I think. Yeah, uh, I think that, that push that came out of nowhere on that bot lane really caught uh, the entire team by surprise. I feel like Chen was out of position a couple times, mm -hmm. he got picked off, uh, meanwhile was microing his creep something, Danzo was on the front line too many times, and they really needed another front line tank besides Sanking uh, or, or Void, because they weren't really doing enough to keep the Weaver down, and the lack of stuns really helped them. But you know what? I'm ranting, but I called it right when Ancient Aberration was picked, that was when... I felt really bad for Mineski because double heal mm -hmm. gets nullified. A plus shaker is just insane. And we saw all of that beautifully uh, exemplified by Mithras. Yeah, that was definitely very well uh, done by them. And you're, yeah, as soon as you pointed out that A, I was like, yeah, you're totally right. That's going to suck. And then it came and I, I, I wince. I really did physically wince because that I knew that was going to be rough if you got those ultis off. So really good win there for Mithras. They're going to go on to the finals, I believe, if I'm not making any mistakes. And we're going to be back. Uh, actually, we not, may not be back. I believe Charms is going to be swapping in. I think we're going to have to find out who's casting the next game. But either way, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a second for the best of five finals of the Dota 2 Malaysian Invitational.